Hello, I'm Ronaldo Brutico, the founding president of the World Business Academy, a nonprofit think tank that's been operating since 1986. We were the only business group that, together with our environmental allies, were successful in closing San Onofre Nuclear Plant on June 7th of 2013. We're also the only business group that is seeking right now for the refund of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, which we believe Edison has overcharged the ratepayers of California, and we intend to get it back. But as exciting as that outcome could be, let me tell you about something even more important. Our next project, which literally could save your life. It doesn't take a nuclear catastrophe like Fukushima to expose us to the dangers of atomic power. Nuclear power plants release radioactive isotopes into the air, soil, and water. Our group has been studying the relationship between strontium-90 and cancer for over a decade. Back in 1963, President John F. Kennedy understood this relationship. The strontium-90 levels in baby teeth were rising dramatically, accompanied by increases in childhood cancer and leukemia. This helped President Kennedy ban above-ground nuclear weapons testing during the Cold War. The loss of even one human life or the malformation of even one baby who may be born long after all of us have gone should be of concern to us all. Our children and grandchildren are not merely statistics towards which we can be indifferent, nor does this affect the nuclear powers alone. These tests befoul the air of all men and all nations, the committed and the uncommitted alike, without their knowledge and without their consent. The scientific baby teeth study showed the health benefits of the test ban. From 1998 through 2003, I served as a research scientist with the baby teeth study. We documented a surprising increase in radioactive strontium-90 levels in children's teeth which began with the rapid expansion of nuclear power during the 1970s. It was because of this link between nuclear power and America's cancer epidemic that I decided to join the Safe Energy Project. We also know that closing nuclear power plants will actually reduce cancer. We saw this with the closing of the Rancho Seco plant in California. After Rancho Seco was shut down in 1989, childhood cancer and thyroid cancer rates in Sacramento County decline dramatically. We want to get the word out to empower our communities and our families. We intend to make a compelling film about the dangers of strontium-90 and possible solutions. Women and children are most affected by radiation poisoning. My mother lived near a nuclear power plant and died of cancer. We want people to know the link between nuclear power, strontium-90, and cancer. If you know someone with cancer, there may be a connection to nuclear power. Join our filmmaking crew. Help us grow this groundswell for safe energy and get great perks while you're at it. Like credit in the film, Ronaldo Brutico's and Dr. Jerry Brown's important book, Freedom from Mideast Oil, and the e-booklet, Preventing Radiation Toxicity Through Diet. Please share our campaign with your friends and family. We thank you for your support in making a film that will expose the links between nuclear power and cancer.